Shorty, I gotta go hey y'all welcome back to my channel today i'm going to be showing y'all how i get this really cute curly bun i'm gonna be giving y'all a little tutorial because a lot of y'all really liked it on my instagram pictures so i'm gonna just be showing y'all how to do it it's a pretty easy process and the bun comes out really cute so yeah but don't mind my background y'all i'm in the process of you know packing and everything so my room is a little messy right now but i was like you know what i got to film this because y'all kept asking for it so yeah if you like this video don't forget to subscribe to my channel and let's go all right so first step start off with like kind of poofy hair i guess because if your hair is like soaking wet this bun won't come out like how you want it to come out because i had to learn that kind of the hard way because i tried to do like a really cute curly bun before and my hair was wet and it did not work out it was flat and it was squished down but like when your hair is already kind of like big then it like works out perfectly fine so all i'm gonna be using today is some like a spray bottle because i'm not near the sink but usually i would just like dip my brush in the sink and like brush my hair but i'm gonna be using this spray bottle and then i'm gonna also be using some um eco style gel, eco style gel the art i mean the olive oil one and i usually use the argan oil but today i'm gonna be using this one and then i'm also gonna use a hard wooden brush i need to get a new one but this one will work and i'm gonna have my scrunchies well not this small scrunchie but this scrunchie and another scrunchie and some style factor for the edges so yeah so first what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna just start off by wetting my hair all around so it can like start to lay down when i brush it and in the back Y'all should see how my dog is looking. He like, what is that? <laughs> All right, so once I get it kind of wet, I'm just gonna brush it like this. And you don't wanna brush it like all the way into the hair part because you don't want it to be like frizzy. You want the hair to have like some curls so you can have that curly bun look, you know? So I'm just gonna brush it up like this. And then after I kind of get it like a little bit sleek with the water, I'm going to take some gel and I'm just going to, whoa, I'm just going to put this all over the hair. I'm going to have to use way more than that. So probably like two fingers. Ew. Just put it all over and then I'm going to put some in the back as well. And then we're just going to brush it up. This is probably going to be a really quick tutorial because <laughs> it's a really simple process. But like in real life, if your hair isn't cooperating, then it takes way longer to do, which is like always the case for me. <laughs> All right. So you just want to get it sleek, like however sleek you want it. If it's not sleek enough for you, just keep applying more gel and more Bentley more gel and more water so just keep watch this y'all i'm gonna give come here boy come here open mouth <laughs> he's thirsty but he does i was trying to give him some water from the spray bottle <laughs> okay so i'm just gonna keep brushing it until it's sleek enough but how's y'all day because my day is going pretty good i had to block one boy today that's that's my the story of my life I had to block him because he was playing games and I don't play games. So anyway, I'm just gonna keep brushing so it's sleek. Make sure the back doesn't have like those little humps and dumps and stuff and loops and all that that comes in the back. So how my back is looking right now. Have it nice and sleek. And you want it, you wanna grip it like tight. Like you wanna grip it pretty tight and you wanna grip it at the top of your head because this is like a high top knot type of bun. So grip it tight. And if you want it tighter, like 
like um, higher, just continuously move it up and brush and add more gel each time so like the frizziness can go down. So now I bought this, these jumbo scrunchies from Walmart and pretty cheap so I, and they last longer than the smaller scrunchies so I'm just gonna take it and put my hair in a ponytail nice and slick at the top of my head just gonna do this a couple of times and I kind of like my ponytail to be tight but not too tight because my head will start hurting so I'm just gonna go into the ponytail holder it's just like tight enough for me so that's about like four loops right there so I like to pull my ponytail and make it tight and this is my hair before the bun and what I like to do before I put the bun is take some more gel and lay my edges down y'all I'm out of breath and my arms hurt <laughs> like this is a process it's not this easy it just looks kind of easy because I'm doing it on video but like if I was in my mirror on a normal day it would not work out how like this easy it would not be working like this I would have had to redo the ponytail like five times <laughs> but I just put more gel brush it down brush the back and then do like that and then next I'm gonna take my toothbrush and some style factor edge control you can use this but it does turn your hair white so I'm only gonna use a little bit of this and I'm gonna use some eco as well to like add to it so I'm gonna take some like a little bit of this on my finger y'all can see it's still full because I don't really use it like that eco is my go-to but I'm gonna take it apply it to my edges like a little bit and then just do that to both sides And then I'm gonna dip my toothbrush in a little bit of eco, like just a little bit at the tip. And then we're gonna take it and we're gonna try to like form some edges. I'm not good at edges at all, but I can make it work. So we're gonna try to make it work today. And I like my edges to be dramatic. Honestly, Bentley, stop. So I like them to be like really dramatic. Like. I wish Anaya was here right now because she knows how to do edges like really, really good. But me, I struggle. I feel like pull more out or what? So I'm just gonna continuously like swoop my hair in a lot of different places until I get the look that I'm going for. Alright, so just continuously swoop. And then I like to pull a lot of hair down right here. Get that dramatic, like, curly look. And then it'll automatically, like, curl up by itself. I'm gonna take more. And then I'm gonna, like, swoop it over here if I can. I hit this head, this part of my head on the refrigerator handle, y'all, and it actually hurts. Like, I might need to go to the hospital because when I chew it and everything. <laughs> It hurts and I can feel it when I'm brushing right here. Alright, so I'm just trying to make it as oh Ooh, it hurts. Is there a bruise? It hurts right here. Alright, so let's continuously swoop it. I'm not good at this, but I'm trying. So then I'm gonna do the same thing over here. I'm gonna drag down. This is like the worst side for me for edges, cause like y'all see how it's not cooperating. But it's cool. All right, so that's that. I got a little bit of edges. <laughs> and we're just gonna work with this. I guess. And then I like to like, like, let me see. I barely have any edges out, y'all. Like, I want it to be really dramatic. Like, when I do these curly buns, I like everything to be looking dramatic because all right, anyway, y'all, my, my best friend Kellen had called me. But luckily the video saved because I was finna have a whole meltdown. I was not about to redo this because look how good this looks. <laughs> All right, so 
I'm just gonna make sure it's slick. And at this point, I would put like a scarf on. Open. Here. You want some? <laughs> All right, so at this point, I would put like a scarf over my edges while I do the bun. But I'm not gonna do that right now. I'm just gonna like, this is so cute. Hold on, let me get my scrunchie. All right, I'm back, y'all. I had stuff and took videos and stuff. Y'all know how I do because I thought I was cute for a little bit, okay? But now, I need to finish this. Wait, I know I just had another scrunchie, bro. Where is... Oh, it's right here. I was finna say. Okay, so I got the ponytail together. I would have had a hair wrap on, as I said, but, you know, I don't feel like going to get it. So you could put, like, a hair wrap on to, like, your edges while you're doing the bun because, you know, like, while you're twisting it and stuff, it's probably going to, like, rub against your hair, but it's cool. So what I do is I start with, like, a piece of hair, kind of like a long piece of hair in the back, and I just take it and I just start wrapping it around. And I just keep doing that to other pieces. Like, I just grab and wrap. And look, <laughs> I kind of already got a bun, like... You just grab and wrap. But you don't want to wrap it tight because you want, like, your curls to, like, stand out. Like, you want them to pop. So, like, if you don't like the way it's looking, you can redo it. But let me see. Um, This is kind of cute. I think it's fine because once you start, like, moving around and stuff, the curls will, like, like pop out. Like, I like my curls to, like, literally be like this. So, like, if you don't want to use a scrunchie to tighten it, you can use a bobby pin, like, bobby pins, and that'll, like, make it hold this form more. So, I think I'm going to go get some bobby pins, y'all, because I don't really want to put the scrunchie over it, because I feel like the curls are going to get messed up. So, wait, let me see how it looks. Okay, let see. Um, should I redo it? Let me just see. I think it's, it's cute, but it could be better. Mm. Um, let's see. All right, I'm gonna go get some bobby pins and then I'll be right back again. All right, so I got my pack of bobby pins, y'all, and my bun fell. <laughs> like, I just stopped holding it, honestly. So I'm just gonna like redo it. So just like grab pieces, twist. You don't want it to be like too circular because that's boring. Like, you want it to be like big and fluffy and with like a lot of curls poking out and stuff. So once you kind of get it to like an okay looking bun, I guess, you can put a scrunchie, like a big scrunchie over it, or you can just use bobby pins to hold it in place. But like if you're outside, if you're gonna be like by the wind and stuff, I wouldn't recommend just using bobby pins. I would recommend using the scrunchie because like it's most likely gonna fall. So you might just wanna choose like however you wanna do it. But today, since I'm just in the house, I'm just gonna put bobby pins because it's not really a big deal like if it falls or not but let me see so like there you have it like that's pretty much it i just take pieces and wrap dang this kind of looks huge <laughs> but i just take pieces and wrap and wrap and wrap until i like it or i, I mean i start over like a lot of times as well i kind of don't like this bun right now because it's like sitting flat and i like my buns to be like really circular like put on this so you just kind of got to play around with it like once you get it slick you just want to play around with it until like it gets how you want it to look like however many curls you want to poke out but i think that's good enough for me so if i had a hair wrap on like none of these fuzzies would have been there so i'm just gonna take a, um my toothbrush again and I'm gonna dip it in some Eco Styler. And I'm using the toothbrush because it's like very small and I can get these fuzzies. So I'm just gonna brush them down with the toothbrush a little bit. And if you need to, you can add more bobby pins or, you know, put another scrunchie or whatever. But you can still use the bobby pins if you use a scrunchie. Like you can use the bobby pins to help it like form how you want it to look. So there's my curly bun, guys. Um. I mean, you, it is what you make it, honestly. Like, if you want a big bun, you got to play with it and fluff it out. And just, like, don't make it really tight when you put the bobby pins. I mean, when you put the scrunchie on, like, don't make it tight. Like, you want it to be really loose. So, I love these kind of buns because it's, like, it's different. And it's not just, like a, like, a regular top knot. It shows, like, your hair texture and stuff like that. So, 
I really am a fan of these kind of buns, but if you want like a top knot bun tutorial, I can give y'all that too, like a regular bun that's not like curly for people that don't have curly hair. But yeah, that's pretty much that. Um, I also can do a tutorial on like buns with weave for those who like need extensions or whatever. But yeah, y'all like, <laughs> that's pretty much it. It was pretty simple. You just slick it down, take pieces of hair and wrap it around and there's your buns. If y'all like this tutorial, be sure to subscribe to my channel and follow me on my social medias. I have Instagram and Snapchat and Twitter. It'll be down below. Um, I don't link my Twitter because honestly, like, I don't really be, I, I be on Twitter when I just like am bored at night and I need something to laugh at. <laughs> but like, I don't tweet really. Like, I just like follow people and just like look at their tweets kind of. Like, I don't be tweeting myself. I just retweet. So if you want to follow me on there, you can, but it's whatever. I really want y'all to follow me on Instagram though because I'm trying to like get to 50,000 followers on there. And yeah, that's pretty much that. My bun looks really big, <laughs> but it's cool, I guess. But yeah, I love these kind of buns. And if you need more tutorials, let me know how you like this one. And maybe I'll do one like a different kind of bun. So thanks for watching. I love y'all. And y'all know what I say. I'll see y'all in my next video. Pretty girl got her own crib. Pretty girl got her own. Keep her nails done, hair done, back.